action. Beautiful. Very That's beautiful. a scene from the new vampire movie, Twilight, based on the wildly popular vampire novels, which follows the love story between a young vampire and a human girl. The movie release is being compared to Harry Potter mania, with crazy crowds of teens snapping up advanced tickets to Friday's opening. Canada AM film critic Richard Krauss had a chance to sit down with the cast members, Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. You know, the, the interest surrounding the release of Twilight is kind of unlike anything I've seen for a very long time. Um, what do you think it is about Stephanie Meyer's books that have inspired this kind of interest? Um, I mean, I think it's because most, most girls, I don't, I don't know what it would be like for a man or a boy to read it, but when you're reading the book, you feel like you are Bella. You get to, I mean, you get to live her life while you're reading the book. It's very personal, and, and, and so that it, uh, because it's set in such a small town as well, and nothing much happens. It's not like it's jumping time frames or anything, or, or, or locations too much. But, um, and a lot of the conversations are left to run just for the entire length of a conversation. And so, I don't know, you really feel, I guess people really feel like they know the characters and they can really obsess over them. So, as a result of that, obsession and, and the way that people feel that they know the characters, did you feel an extra weight that you might not have felt on another film playing these particular characters? It's strange that it's from so many other people's perspective when you care about something and it's so personal. I mean, usually you do a movie, you have no expectations. It's from other people. You, you They take from it what they will, right. um, but it doesn't affect them. I mean, it's, you know, if they hate it, then it doesn't really bother them. But in this case, I, I wasn't aware of it while we were shooting the film, which was probably good. Um, so. no, I think it ended up, it was, I think no one really knew the extent of this. Uh, the uh, the hype that would come now. Now, what do you think the allure of the character Edward is? And since I was doing this press tour, I was asking all the fans, um, and in five or well, six out of seven cities, all the crowd, I was asking them, what do you what do you like about Edward? Why are you so obsessed with him? Right. And six out of seven were they all said, because he's so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh really? Is that what it is? And then I went in, in the last city, I can't remember where it was, um, there was this one girl who was saying, no, no, it's not just because he's sexy. And she just said it's because of the way, the way he loves Bella. Right. And I was just like, oh. Is it possible to prepare yourselves for how your both careers and personal lives, I guess, will change once this movie comes out? Because it's going to be different after this opens. It doesn't have, like, a direct physical effect on you. Right. It just, just sort of is. It's like this cloud that follows you around. It's like you have this other person that people look at and talk about and freak out over and then you get to go home and be someone. I mean, it's like, okay, I'll tell this person that you're speaking of that you like them a lot. <laughs> right. um, I've always been kind of holding on the hope that um, I can just go back to London and it would just be like a switch turning off. Right. And so I'm just like, oh, well, this is my job, doing this stuff, and then I can just go away and it'll be normal again.